वेलकम यू ऑल स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट मॉर्फोलॉजी मॉर्फोलॉजी इन इजियर वर्ड्स वी कुड से स्टडी ऑफ वर्ड फॉर्म्स आर मॉफीम्स दिस टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट लिंग्विस्टिक्स पार्ट फोर इंग्लिश को टू जीरो सिक्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ इंग्लिश दिस इज आर लेक्चर नंबर वन एंड वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन दिस कोर्स कंप्लीटली वॉट इज मॉर्फोलॉजी द वर्ड मॉर्फोलॉजी इट इज derived from the greek word morph meaning form and logos meaning word thus it is a study of morphemes or word forms and structures so all the morphemes and word forms means words and all the structures in language that is known as morphology for example the english word unfriendly is formed from three morphemes friend by adding prefix un and suffix ly so the word is unfriendly and it is composed or made up of the word forms or morphemes as friend un and ly here we are going to talk about the very basics of morphology the term morphology is generally attributed to the german poet novelist playwright and philosopher john wolfgang von goethe 1749 to 1832 who coined it early in the 19th century in a biological context so basically morphology came from the subject of a biology and it was uh, the word which was coined by goethe what is the meaning of morphology in biology subject in biology morphology refers to the study of the form and structure of organisms so the basic structure of organisms like cell and other parts that is the concern of morphology in biology subject in geology it refers to the study of configuration and evolution of land forms so the land forms and its evolution how uh, land is evolved and how it has been formed that is the concern of morphology in the subject of geology here our concern in linguistics is very different in linguistics morphology is a systematic study of morphemes or how morphemes join to form words we already have given a few examples in this lecture for example the word unfriendly is the word and it is made up of three morphemes un friend and ly in linguistics morphology refers to the mental system involved in word formation or to the branch of linguistics that deals with words their internal structure and how they are formed so in linguistics morphology basically refers to the mental system how in in a mind uh, words are formed or how a language has been involved or how a speaker who uses language uh, makes the formation of a words in his mind we have been uh, referring to terms in this our study of morphology number one is morphemes and number second are words what are morphemes morphemes are minimal units that cannot be further subdivided into meaningful units such minimal meaningful units of grammatical descriptions are generally referred as morphemes so morphemes are basically minimal meaningful units in a language on the other hand word is the single unit of a language which means something and can be spoken or written for example it's very clear here we already have talked about the word unlikely has three morphemes unlike and ly so the word is unlikely and this unlikely is actually um composed of three morphemes that unlike and ly so how morphemes are minimal meaningful units like ly ly has function in a language it changes the meaning of a word so basically this is a minimal meaningful unit that is known as morpheme here something more and that is morphemes words and lexemes basically these are actually the word formation and we already have talked about morphemes these are 
minimal units that cannot be further subdivided into meaningful units. For example, um, before going through examples, words. As a word is a single unit of language, which means something and can be spoken or written. We already have a learnt and uh, the same example he is here. The word unlikely has three morphemes, unlike and ly. Here is the third term, which we are going to make it clear here. The smallest meaningful unit in the meaning system of a language that can be distinguished from other similar units. Those are such minimal um, meaningful units in the uh, meaning system of a language are known as lexemes. For example, give up or pass away, kick the bucket. For example, pass away. Pass away, it has two words, but it has a single meaning. It has to die or kick the bucket. It has three words, kick the bucket, but it has single meaning in meaning our meaning system in a language. It means to say again, kick the bucket means to die. Give up, leave the things. Bury the hatchet means leave enmity. So it has single meaning. Are these uh, chunks of words or phrases or idioms, whatever, they have smallest or single meaning in a language. It means to say these all are lexemes in language or the word give, gives, given, gave, and giving will belong to one lexeme, give. Basically, give, gives, given, gave. These all uh, words have a single meaning. In meaning system, they have single meaning. Thus, we may say um, these belong to one lexeme, give. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Hopefully, this would have been very helping for all of you.